the Arrhenius equation gives us a relationship between activation energy and rate constants. And in this case, we have the rate constant at 304 divided by the rate constant at 293 is exactly 2.000, exactly 2. Now, from the Arrhenius equation, remember the Arrhenius equation is k times a pre-exponential factor a e to the negative activation energy over rt. If we plug in k1 and k2 and simplify it the logarithmic form, we get that the logarithm, the natural logarithm of k2, uh, temperature 2 over k1, equals the negative of the activation energy over r times 1 over t2 minus 1 over t1. Well, let's plug in the data from this problem. The logarithm of 2, k2 over k1, and we want to calculate Ea, R has to be expressed in energy units. 8.314 Js per k per mole. T2 is 304 K and T1 is 293 K. One can simplify this somewhat. When you have the difference between two small numbers and you want to use your calculator, it's usually better to express it by simplifying the algebra. 293 minus 304 divided by 293 times 304. Carrying through that calculation, Ea then becomes 4.67 times 10 to the fourth Js per mole, or 46.7 kJs per mole. 46.7 kilojoules per mole. There's an old rule of thumb in chemistry that says if you raise the temperature of a reaction by about 10 degrees around room temperature, its rate will about double. This is an illustration of that. You notice we've raised the temperature by 11 Ks, about 10 degrees, and we see that the activation energy of such a reaction, if it exactly doubles in rate, is about 50 Kjs per mole. It's just a rule of thumb. It's handy, uh, sometimes useful, and um, expresses a fairly familiar and fairly common rate of reaction change and a fairly common range for an activation energy.